Today marks 13 years since the deadly mass shooting at Northern Illinois University. For those who lived through the attack, it seems like no time has passed at all. WGN's Judy Wang spoke with one survivor who is now working to help others. The images and the sound, one shot after another. Patrick Corellis finds it hard to believe 13 years have passed. It feels like yesterday. I just remember that day um, very, you know, minute by minute, uh, everything that happened. Um, but I always look forward to see what I've accomplished today and where I'm at today. And, you know, I'm very happy. So February 14th, 2008, a gunman walked into Cole Hall and opened fire while class was in session. He killed five students and wounded 21 others before killing himself. Corrales was sitting at the front of the lecture hall. 15 minutes before class was to end, the shooter kicked open the door. He was teaching. Uh, he didn't say any words. Um, he was wearing a long trench coat, and he just pulled out a shotgun and just started shooting at us. And I didn't realize it was real until the third or fourth shot. And I got under my desk and hid, and he just kept shooting. Corrales was hit in the back of his head and in his arm. The 35-year-old Lakeview resident and Walgreens company analyst has reached out to victims of other mass shootings, including Parkland, Florida, which also happened on Valentine's Day. He continues lobbying for gun law reforms at the state and federal levels. Gunman was mentally ill, was able to easily access guns online from the same online dealer that the Virginia Tech shooter did. And it's just, you know, I just want to close some of those loopholes. Um, you know, I just, I just hope, I just hope for a change. On campus this afternoon, Bell's told to remember the victims. As he does on this day every year, Corellis is reconnecting with fellow survivors. We have a private Facebook group. We'll chat in there. Some of us have each other's numbers and we'll text each other, message each other, just, just to make sure we're all okay. Judy Wang, WGN News.